Hey everyone, this is Chase the Rocky Mountain HPMC giving you a closer look at the ATR2 Youth Helmet from 6D Helmet. All right, so today we're giving you a closer look at the ATR2Y or the ATR2 Youth Helmet coming from 6D. Now, if you're not real familiar with 6D helmets, they have some pretty rad innovative technology that is built in to make these as safe as possible. Things like their isolation dampeners, their multiple piece EPS liner system, their low friction disc. So we're gonna talk all about that. Now, if you're familiar with the ATR2 adult version, just know that this helmet has all the same great features that are built in. So I'm glad to see that 6D has updated their youth version. But before we dive in, we talk about features, just talk about fit real quick. So it's very important if you're shopping for a youth rider, use the sizing guide on the product page, measure their head. That way you know what size you are going to need. But something very cool that 6D does with their helmets, you have four sizes, but all four sizes share one shell size. What's great about that is that if you buy a small medium, what you can do is if the rider outgrows that size, you can actually send the helmet back to 6D and they can take an EPS liner from a large extra large, put that into a small medium, and now the helmet's gonna grow with the rider. So you're making a big investment here, but it is nice to see that if you do buy the smaller size, you can get that size adjusted as the rider is growing. But in any case, this is an apparel item that goes for any helmet that we sell at Rocky Mountain. We have our fit guarantee. If you buy it, if you're not happy with the size or the fitment, send it back in brand new unused condition and we will give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange. So they're gonna use the same tri-composite shell construction as you have with the adult version. So you can see in the back here, it can be DOT and ECE certified. But what's unique about the shell with the youth is that it's not gonna be as rigid as the adult version. So obviously with a youth helmet, you have a lighter head inside there, you're gonna be go going at slower speeds. So you need the shell to be a little bit more compliant than with an adult helmet, so that shell is going to be a little bit softer. Some other features that I like, you're gonna have nine imports when it comes to venting. So you've got multiple vents here along the chin bar, a couple vents here underneath that visor. And then when you do look at the back here, you can see you have multiple exhaust vents that take that hot air, push it out the back. And as you will see, when we take the comfort liner out, there's a lot of channels cut into the EPS, again, to help channel that air through the helmet. Visor is going to be adjustable, nice and flexible, so if the rider does go down, not very likely for that to break, so that's going to save you money there. Also, a couple other features I like with safety in mind. When you look here underneath the chin bar, so the chin bar is going to have EPP padding on the inside. EPP stands for expanded polypropylene, so it's a little bit different than EPS. What's unique about EPP is that it retains its shape if it does have an impact. So that way, if a rider's carrying the helmet or they rest on the handlebars, you're not gonna compromise the integrity of that EPP. But also what I like too is that you notice it wraps up and around the bottom of the mouth guard there, so that's gonna be a sternum pad. So think of the rider's chin going into the chest, that's gonna add a little bit of extra padding there. Now you'll also notice here, on top of the eye port, you actually have this rib going all the way across. Well, the purpose for that rib is anytime you, anytime you take a round shape and you cut it off, well, the weakest part of that shape is not gonna be where you've cut it. So to help increase the strength of where this eye port starts, you have this rib going across the top. So think of those big impacts with the rider's forehead, a little bit of additional strength there as well. The last thing I will point out is right here on the sides, you actually have collarbone cutouts. So for riders that have had an injury there before, you know what I'm talking about. So it's nice to see you've got some cutouts there for a little bit more clearance for the rider's collarbone. And also on the very back here, you'll notice that where the shell ends, you have this white piece here. Well, this is actually gonna be a softer material as well. So think of hyperextension when the rider's head going back, just gonna offer a little bit more padding again for the rider's spine. So that's the outside of the helmet, getting a lot of cool features baked in. But now let's take a look at the inside here. So with the chin strap, it's just gonna be your traditional D-ring. Undo that real quick. So, cheek pads, you're gonna have emergency pull tabs right here. So obviously in the event of a crash, if you need to, you wanna get the, the helmet off the rider's head as safely as possible. So it's important that you can get the cheek pads out easily. So what you do is you actually just take these pull tabs and then pull out and forwards, and that's just gonna help these pop out. So there's your cheek pads. Get the other one out there. Now these are washable, so with the comfort liner, if you want, take it out, throw it in the washing machine, let it dry, put it back in, you're gonna be good to go. Pull out the comfort liner. All 
All right, so there is the rest of the comfort liner on the inside. And again, like I mentioned earlier, that's gonna be your EPS liner on the inside, so expanded polystyrene. We see EPS in a lot of helmets. It's a crushable material. Does a very good job of absorbing energy. And as I mentioned, you can see you've got a lot of channels in there cut out. Again, that's gonna help with that airflow, getting that through the helmet. So that's your EPS liner, but now, there's a whole lot more going in that you're not gonna be able to see, but thankfully, 6D, they've helped me out. So they've actually sent me a cutaway of the helmet. Now this is an adult version that I have on the table, but just remember, it's going to be identical in the youth version. So first thing let's talk about is your EPS liner. This is what I just showed you. So the EPS liner, expanded polystyrene, what's cool about this is that in the youth version, they use a softer density. So just like with the shell when we talked about that, you're gonna have a smaller head, lighter, lesser speeds. So the EPS liner is designed to be softer to help absorb energy at those lower impacts. So you got your EPS liner, but you'll also notice that on the outside, what's contacting the shell, you have a separate liner, this is EPP. So it's that same material that we saw on the chin bar again, that's expanded polypropylene. So the properties of that, it does condense, it absorbs energy, but what's cool about it, like I said earlier, it retains its shape. So what's really cool about this system and we'll talk about all these little red things that you have inside here as well, is that if a rider goes down and they crush the EPS liner, well, you don't want to use a helmet after there's been a big impact because once the EPS crushes, it doesn't retain its shape, so it's not going to absorb energy as well the next time you have an impact. So what you want to do, if you're not sure, send the helmet back to 6D, and what's cool is that they will look at the helmet, they'll look at the shell, they'll make sure the integrity is still there, the shell, and if the EPS liner is damaged, what they can do for about 125 bucks is replace just the EPS liner. So if your rider has a crash and you're kind of concerned about that EPS liner, send the helmet back to 6D, they'll look at it, and before they charge you, they're gonna see if they can replace the EPS liner. If they can, you get your helmet refurbished, sent back to you, and you are good to go again. So it's pretty cool, you make an investment here, but you do have that ability to have the helmet repaired if needed. So you've got your two separate liners, but also what you're gonna notice is you've got these little red things here. These are called their isolation dampeners. So that's what they call their ODS technology, omnidirectional suspension. So these actually move in six degrees of motion. That's where they get the name 6D for the helmet. So what's cool about these is one, they absorb linear impact, so straight up and down, but also because they move in those six degrees, that's also gonna help with those linear impacts. We've seen a big emphasis over the years on rotational energy. In other words, when you're moving forward or side to side or front to back, they wanna be able to sure, or make sure that, that can help mitigate that rotational energy as well. So that's what those are gonna do here. Now with the previous version, the ATR1 youth helmet, they actually had 27 of these isolation dampeners. They have now gone down to 11. And I'll explain why they did that here in just a minute. So you have 11 of these towers inside there. Now you'll also notice too that on the outside of this EPS liner, you almost have this skeleton looking piece. So this is what they call the ODS carrier. So that's what these isolation dampeners are sitting on top of. What's cool about this is that when you look at the EPP liner, you've got these orange discs. So these are the low friction discs. So what's cool about these is that these rest right on top of that skeleton and they create a low friction zone. So by going from the 27 isolation dampeners down to the 11 and adding these friction discs, what 60 says they're able to do is have up to 30% more displacement travel with their liner system. In other words, it's allowing those two liners to slip or move freely of each other to help disperse that angular rotation. So it's a pretty cool system that they come up with. And again, like I said, just a lot of cool technology that is built into their liner system. And I love the fact that again, if you do damage that EPS liner, send it back and they can have it replaced for you so you don't have to worry about buying a whole new helmet. And that is it. That is the 6D ATR2 Youth Helmet. If you have any other questions or comments about it, leave those below, we'll get those answered. And also do not forget that with this helmet, three year manufacturer warranty coming from 6D. To pick yours up, it is real simple, just click on the link or head over to RockyMountainATVMC.com. Orders are over $75 ship free. If you like this product spotlight, if you wanna see more just like it, we'll make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and that's gonna keep you up to date on the latest gear guides, product reviews, and how-to videos that we're constantly filming. I am Chase, we'll see you on the trails.